Hi, I'm Kinjal Dave, Director of Solution Management in the client line of business account. And I'm excited to share a few key highlights of the Total Compute Solutions. We are collaborating with our silicon and ecosystem partners to shape the next decade of client platforms. Based on this deep collaboration across the industry, we have outlined three fundamental drivers for future client devices, performance, security, and developer access. Performance demands are skyrocketing, but the constraint on cost and power are clearly not going away. Robust security is becoming the norm, but there are massive hurdles on cost, performance, and fragmentation across the ecosystem. Developers require the ease of debugging, deploying, and optimizing their applications across a broad range of client devices. These drivers are also the three pillars of ARM's total compute strategy. So ARM's total compute solutions take a cross IP, system-wide optimization approach to address these challenges. These optimizations span across the solution components that includes ARM's hardware IP, physical IP, software, tools, and standards. In this presentation, I will provide an overview of some of the optimizations like gaming optimizations, AI performance enhancements, and new security capabilities in our first generation of total compute solutions. Let us begin with the system optimizations for gaming workloads. We want to enable our partners to build the best gaming experiences for the next decade of mobile platforms. Gaming workloads continue to push the limits of mobile technology, and future platforms will demand increased frame rates, higher resolution, and better lighting effects for immersive gaming experiences. At the system level, our partners face a fundamental challenge of balancing performance and power allocation across the CPU, the GPU, and the memory system. So to maximize the system performance for gaming workloads, without hitting the thermal limits, we focused on three areas. The first area of focus was to reduce the GPU driver's overhead on the CPU cluster. We achieved this by the microarchitectural improvements in the CPU, introduction of new GPU features like Command Stream Front End, or CSF, and GPU driver optimizations. Second, we focused on Mali GPU improvements, both in terms of performance as well as efficiency. The new texture units in the Mali G710 GPU handles demanding gaming content with ease. The redesigned execution engine results in better efficiency across the GPU cluster. Third, we focused on features that improve system efficiency. This is achieved by introducing a system level cache in our new interconnect CoreLink CI700 and by adding features such as FP16 compression capability in the GPU. So what do these improvements and system optimization deliver for the gaming workloads? We measured the results of these system optimizations across different gaming contents using ARM's reference platform. These optimizations resulted in an average 33% improvement for Mali driver workloads on the Cortex-A710 and an average 20% increase for the Mali G710. We also observed 15% increase in system efficiency by enabling the system level cache, FP16 compression, and the CSF features in the GPU. So all these optimizations provide performance as well as efficiency benefits for gaming workloads or client devices based on ARM's total compute solutions. So this is a great example of how our first total compute solution delivers tangible performance improvements for complex real-world use cases like gaming. However, for us, it is not just about delivering raw performance improvements through 
holistic system optimizations. We also want to make it easier for developers to unlock this performance. To enable this, we are making significant investments in the gaming ecosystem, arms tooling infrastructure, as well as continued developer engagement. Our collaboration with leading game engine companies ensures that not only are ARM solutions optimized for real-world content, but real-world content will also be optimized for ARM's platforms. Our tooling platform, the ARM Mobile Studio, continues to add support for new mobile devices with every passing day. The studio also supports plug-and-play capabilities making it seamless for developers to unlock performance on ARM platforms and reducing their time to market. So we looked at how total compute solutions are optimized for rich gaming experiences. Now, let me highlight the AI compute capabilities in our solutions. So there is an explosion of AI use cases across all categories of client devices. Future client devices will need the capability to support diverse AI use cases with very different and varying performance requirements. So AI workloads are not restricted to a single compute component, but span across multiple compute engines. One common use case is the portrait mode, a key feature of modern smartphones that allows anyone to capture professional quality images and videos. This seemingly simple feature is computationally quite complex. It requires several compute-intensive photography techniques executing in real time. Now it is easy to think that the neural processing unit, or the NPU, solves this complex problem on its own. In reality, multiple stages of the compute pipeline are handled by different specialized AI engines in the background. So based on ARM's AI camera use case decomposition, we observe that for the portrait mode use case, the CPU can be used for the pre and post-processing the image, which is then followed by the GPU or NPU for extracting the depth map and doing segmentation, and then passing it again to the CPU for booking, and finally to the NPU for the super resolution operation. Now, this is just one of the many examples of AI workloads with a key takeaway. Future client devices need system-wide ML capability to improve user experience. To address these diverse AI requirements, Total Compute Solutions approach is to integrate powerful AI capabilities across all of our processors. Here are just a few highlights of the massive performance gains for a variety of AI workloads on different ARM IP. These performance gains vary from 35% average improvements on the Mali G710 to a massive 700% on Cortex M55 for power constraint use cases like keyword spotting. Overall, ARM solutions offer the broadest range of AI engines enabling diverse AI use cases in different power and cost constraints. Let me now highlight the security foundations for Total Compute Solutions. Security is a never-ending arms race with the hackers. As the value of the personal assets on client devices increase, so does the number of threats. And memory safety issues still persist alarmingly across millions of lines of code in applications that are deployed across billions of client devices. Firmware is increasingly becoming the preferred target for attacks in every system. Furthermore, addressing these security challenges results in a significantly increased complexity for the system as well as the software. So the first implementation of ARM V9 architecture supports five new security technologies. Let me focus on the memory tagging extension or the MTE technology as another example of ARM's total compute strategy in action. MTE is a foundational technology relying on industry-wide collaboration for its definition, development, and deployment 
in the next decade of client devices. For a start, MTE is co-designed by ARM and Google to mitigate the memory safety bugs that are common in C and C++ code. These memory safety bugs remain as one of the largest vulnerabilities in mobile platforms. MTE is a hardware feature. It is implemented as a cross-IP system-wide security technology that spans across the ARM v9 CPU cluster and the interconnect IP. We built a reference platform comprising of the ARM v9 CPUs, the CoreLink CI700, and a realistic memory system to validate this technology and support our silicon partners to integrate it in their SOC platforms. In terms of deployment, Google is committed to supporting MTE throughout the Android software stack and are working with ARM's partners for testing MT support to enable wider deployment in the Android software and the hardware ecosystem. To enable seamless deployment at MT, ARM has released the Fixed Virtual Platform, or FVP, and the corresponding platform software. Now, these components are used by the silicon providers and the OEMs for early software development before MT-enabled silicon is available in 2022. Now, for developers, security is really complex, and getting it right is extremely hard. Developers want the ability to deploy reliable applications for their customers without really getting bogged down in the complexity to build the secure applications. Fortunately, ARM's approach to security is to make it easy for developers to benefit from the security and the stability offered by ARM's solutions. So let me give you two examples. PAC or pointer authentication and BTI are complex security technologies that are supported by the ARM v9 CPUs. These protect against complex software attacks, which most developers are not familiar with. Fortunately, the compiler plants these instructions and they are backward compatible through being in the instruction no op space. Thus, PAC and BTI are almost transparent to the average developer, making it easier for them to mitigate software attacks with ease without facing any compatibility issues. Now, MTE is also very interesting to developers as a bug finding tool. It allows developers to track down memory safety bugs in languages like C and C++. Finding one of these bugs can take days and weeks so this is a fantastic time to market tool for developers. Now these bugs can later be exploited as vulnerabilities if they are left in the code. So MT enables developers to deploy reliable, stable, and secure apps to their customers faster and with ease. So ARM solution approach is focused on enabling developers to unlock performance as well as the security benefits for their applications across the broadest category of devices that span from the edge to the cloud. In conclusion, ARM's total compute solutions introduced recently are based on the ARM v9 architecture. These solutions are the first embodiment of ARM's total compute strategy based on the three fundamental drivers of performance, security, and developer access. These solutions will provide the widest choice to ARM's partners for driving the next decade of innovation across all client devices, across all cost points. Thank you.